Welcome again to a Garlitz High Performance Garage. It is Sunday. <laughs> it's in May there sometime. I, I forget the damn date. Who cares? But you, know, you got a bunch of a big mess on the floor here. But, um, I uh, put an aluminum radiator in the, the old girl here. And uh, I haven't had a chance really to, to properly test it to see if she's going to really cool her off or not. I've been having some cooling issues. Even when that engine was in it, it didn't want to cool it. But uh, hopefully this will do the trick. So... It came with two 10-inch fans. Christ on the other out here had two 16-inch ones, but I think it was just, it was too long, and it just wasn't getting enough air because a good chunk of it was blocked through the support. You see that radiator fits pretty good right there. And it has a gap, too, right here, so... You know, some air can still flow in. But, you know, a little bit of it's blocked. But only a quarter of it's blocked. I mean, well, maybe not even a quarter of it. Three quarters of it's probably. Well, a little over three quarters of it's exposed. You know, and you're going to get some fresh air through here. So. But anyhow, I wanted to show you all that. <clears throat> this thing's been running pretty good. It runs better every time I bring it out. Um, now I uh, got this thing to run. Um, hold on a minute there. I get the hood open here. So, you got this girl to run. Well, it'll run, but I think it's still a tooth out of time. I hit it way out. I run it up on top dead center. Turned the oil pump gear with a big long screwdriver and put this damp, uh, distributor back down in and it, it's still off. I had a hell of a time getting it to run yesterday. But, uh, it, uh, it idles, but it doesn't.
Well, there it is. I do have a oil leak. It's pretty bad. Um, down there, the valve cover gasket. I mean, it, it it sounds good, but it just doesn't sound like it's supposed to. It's really slow revving. It doesn't have much power. And that would indicate that it is a tooth out. So. And it runs a little bit hotter than what it should. But that's because it's a tooth out. And I don't have as much vacuum to the booster here. For my brakes, they're kind of uh, kind of stiff. But then, yeah, it's been sitting in here for five years. And, uh, I took it for a drive this morning. Just up and down the road here past my house. And it's been sitting so long in here that all the, the tires have flat spots. <clears throat> of course, these are, these are tires the last guy had put on here. and They're really small. They're... <laughs> I think they're like a 50 series or something like that. Uh, 205, 55, 16 on the front. A little more sidewall on the back. But it's uh, got to kind of even around a little bit. They are 245.50. Sixteen on the back. So I can fit fifteens on the rear if I want to do that. I'll probably do that. To, I'll get a set of wheels and put these slicks on them. Got a set of these. Well, I got one Mickey Thompson, and I got uh, the other's a Hoosier. <laughs> Back here, sitting with my weight set. And all my other garbage. A bunch of truck parts, original seat out of my Chevelle. Some wheels. I got another good year. These are uh the, these slicks are from uh the uh what the hell is his name? <laughs> Top fuel dragster runner, uh John Force. Um my brother in law got to meet him. And he had these for sale at his garage. And uh, my brother-in-law asked about them. He said, well, you can just have them. So he gave them to my brother-in-law. Then my brother-in-law gave them to me. That was probably five, six years ago. But I did use these on the Chevelle. Which has got Chevy rallies on there. I used them on the Chevelle. At Hagerstown a time or two. At uh, Mason Dixon. And they hooked up nice. I thought they were going to be too big, but they fit right up under there, and they're nice, real nice. Made her, made her hook and book. You get them baby sticky, you ain't gonna turn them. Well, you probably still can, but this car here ain't got enough horsepower to bust them loose. Unless I guess if you're sitting in a bunch of water, but yeah. Well, I'll. uh sign off at that on that note um all of you uh take care take it easy and uh be careful out there since they lifted the some of the uh, quarantine on some states all of you be careful out there i have a feeling this still isn't over but all of you have a good one and like comment Click down there on that little subscribe button if you want to. If not, I'm free white and 21. You don't have to if you don't want to. You can if you want. Whatever, who cares? But uh, y'all have a good one. and I will uh, have another video, hopefully, of this thing running down the road. So Maybe uh, we'll tech, take her out and test on her a little bit and do a burnout. Yeah. All right, everybody. Have a good one.